Good morning, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back once again. January 28th, 2021. And as you can see, we have the first snowfall of the 2021 season. Not too much right now. Uh, we're expecting about two and a half, maybe three to three and a half inches today. Uh, you can actually see it's kind of rainy here at the moment. But there's still a little bit of snow coming down. And this is definitely a wet snow. Definitely not a dry snow. This is a good, good kind of snow for uh, throwing snowballs. Um, but I actually have to travel down to Virginia Beach today. So I'm hopefully going to take you guys with me. I'm not really dressed for it. I'm literally in shorts and uh, slippers right now. So I think I'm going to go back inside, have my two cups of coffee. Uh, but man, it is gorgeous this morning. Going to be taking the Tahoe. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I have actually gotten rid of the Yukon. So um, I'll update you a little bit later on that. But let me go inside because I am really getting cold. But a little bit of snow for you. Talk to everybody on the flip side. All right, folks. Back home from uh, getting those monitors. I couldn't film because we have a new law now that says you can't uh, text or hold your phone and drive. Uh, it's about 1 o'clock, and as you can see, everything is melting pretty quickly. We wound up getting about, um, I would say about 2, 2 and a half inches of snow. If I look right here on the post, put my finger in there. You can kind of see that uh, that's about two, two and a half inches. Um, but I got a lot of work ahead of me today. So I'll give you guys an update in a little bit. I have a surprise for you. You see the Tahoe right there. And I do have another vehicle that I want to show you guys. But you're going to have to wait. Probably not going to be in this vlog that I'm going to show it. I'm not sure yet. So don't hold me to this. Uh, we'll see what the rest of the day brings. And I'll talk to everybody a little bit later. All right, everybody, please excuse the mess. I know it's a little messy in here today. Um, I want to show you guys some of the monitors that I picked up today from this last haul. I got a bunch of matching ones. I got these two Dell, uh, I believe these are 22-inch LCD monitors. These are the ones that actually will move up and down, which I can't really do two-handed. And they move sideways. Let me see if I can uh, get this one to pop. Nope, maybe this one will. Let's see. Sometimes you get lucky. Now, you'll just have to take my word for it. But these go horizontal and vertical. So that's a matching pair. I have this one here, which also does that. However, this one is going to become my test bench monitor because there's a little imperfection. You can see it right there. Um, so I won't be able to sell this one. Um, but again, this one also, oh, say it not, don't spray it, Matt, telescopes and turns, just like that. So you can go ahead and uh, gain access to all the ports. On this one, you have USB ports there. You have um, a hub. You have your DVI, your VGA. So these are pretty really well um, featured monitors. And that one is also a 22 inch. And I got two of these HPs. These are HP S2003s. Uh, these are 20 inch monitors, so these are matching here. Uh, these are LCD monitors, I believe, also have uh, DVI and VGA. Um, back here, I have four of these same ones here. These are these four AC, uh, AOCs. These are model E2050SWDs. Uh, again, also have DVI and VGA. These are LED monitors, so these are actually pretty light. I mean, they're not the, as light as more modern LEDs, but let's see what we got there. Excuse me, I'm uh, sucking on a uh, holes right now. My throat's a little sore. I don't see a date on this, but... Oh, there we go. Manufactured. Looks like somewhere around 2012. Um, got these two here. These are, um, I'm not even sure what brand these are. These are 22 inches as well. Somebody out there will probably tell me, what are these things? Oh, these are those Walmart brand ones. Ingram micro devices, I think. 
uh, made in 2016. Again, uh, DVI and VGA and audio. So these actually have audio ports built in. So again, not bad, these monitors. Ignore that. That was that all-in-one from another the other hall. Have not had a chance to do anything with that. I got to clean some scratches that unfortunately formed on the screen there. And I got two more to show you. I'm going to go over here. I got this um, ViewSonic, uh, another 22-inch monitor. Uh, all these have DVI and VGA, but not HDMI, except for this last one here, this Acer 24-inch. Um, this is actually a 24-inch. Now, this is the only one that did not come with a power supply. This has an external power supply, and I was actually able to find one that works in the closet. It's a high pro. It's actually from a laptop, but it works just fine with this. It's 19 volts. The wattage is a little bit higher. It's 4.14, um, what is it, watts, but this only requires 1.25, but that's okay. It, it, it's not going to hurt. It'll just pretty much take what it needs. Um, so, yeah, that was it for today. That was the haul of the monitors I got. Now, tomorrow... You guys are going to see me pick up a haul of computer towers and maybe some more monitors. We're going to have to see how that goes, but I'm going to go ahead. This is going to be a multi-day vlog. I'm going to pause this. We'll see what the rest of the day brings. I might film a little more today. I might not. We'll see how um, my mood is. <laughs> and I'll talk to everybody on the flip side. All right, folks. Day two of this multi-day vlog. It is about 6.15 in the morning. I uh, got up pretty early, got about six hours of sleep last night. Uh, got a surprise for you. Got some cold starts coming this morning. The first day this season that it has actually been cold enough to do cold starts. Uh, temperature right now is sitting right at about 27 degrees. Just waiting for the sun to come up, and when it does, um, we'll go out and do some cold starts. But I need some more coffee. I'm still trying to wake up. We'll see what the rest of the day brings. We'll talk to everybody a little bit later. All right, everybody. It is cold start time. Let's go out there. We'll start with the Tahoe, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and cold start the LeSabre. All right, here we are at the Tahoe. Let's see if she's frozen up or not. Nope, I was able to actually get in. So we have 234,000 miles still on this. And uh, I actually started this one yesterday, so I'm hopeful that she'll start just fine. Go ahead and put that in there. Turn the radio off. Yeah, come on. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Power. Yeah, we'll just turn it down. All right, let's see if she starts. Oh, yeah. You can rely on your GMT 400s, that's for sure. No warning lights, good oil pressure. It's cold. Battery voltage is really charging up here. Um, yeah, I've had this thing for about a year and a half now, and boy, she is rock solid reliable. folks now this one on the other hand i have not started in a while so we're gonna see if she'll even start up looks like the door locks are frozen let's try that again oh nope just the door is frozen <laughs> all right well we got the security light on here which is kind of typical let's see key in the ignition Uh, turn the radio down. What do you think? Will she start or won't she? Ah, no problem. Boy, I've got to turn the wipers off. That is very, very dim for some reason. Let's see if uh, she's actually charging. Oh, wow. 15 volts. Very uh, typical for this. It's got the 3800 Series 2 motor. What do we got mileage-wise? 142,000 miles. This has got the classic uh, Delco 
uh, AM FM CD cassette radio in it. Um, but yeah, you can rely on your Buicks. We didn't actually clear this off from the snowstorm yesterday, so uh, uh, I don't think we're going to drive it today, though, anyway, so we should be good there. All right, folks, I have one more surprise for you, so let's go ahead and give this a little bit of a rev. And shut it down. And I'm going to show you a sneak peek of the new vehicle that I picked up. Talk to All you right, in a folks, and here she is. This is the vehicle that is replacing my Yukon. It is a 2002 E150, Ford E150 conversion van. And um, I'm just going to do a quick cold start on it. You guys and gals are going to get an in-depth review on this uh, probably in the next couple of weeks. But I have to get some uh, paintwork done to it first. Go ahead and open it up. Woo! One thing we did do is we replaced the uh, window motor and regulator in this. Let me see if I can step up in here. She is a pretty big vehicle. Uh, she has 127,668 miles. And let me go ahead and make sure the radio is off again. It is now. This one's easy to turn off. Haven't started this in a while, but the battery voltage looks good. Let's see if she starts. Oh yeah, no problem. No warning lights on this one. Let me shut the door real quick. This actually has the uh, 4.6 uh, liter Triton V8. This is not the 5.4. Uh, I did fill it up with gas the other day because she was really low. It's one thing that drives me nuts. When people sell vehicles, they never fill them up with gas. I actually purchased this about a month ago now. And when I got it, it was like right above the E. So it's just another one of my pet peeves. But she runs really, really well. Um, that's going to be it, folks. You guys are going to get a bigger in-depth review of this vehicle uh, once I get everything done with it. Um, one thing I will show you that's kind of weird, though. Uh, when we put the window motor in, for whatever reason, we got one of those cheap eBay ones. And up is down and down is up. So if I push this up, you see I'm pushing the button up, the window goes down. And if I push the button down, the window goes up. So that's just kind of an odd quirk. Um, I think so. I never knew if this window works. So you guys could tell me if that's something that uh, happens with your vehicles or not. All right, folks, I am very cold. I'm going back inside. I have to go down to Virginia Beach later to pick up that other load of computers. So I'll talk to everybody on the flip side. All right, everybody. So it's almost 12 noon, and I'm going to be heading down to pick up those computers um, shortly. I was hoping to be able to film it down there, but unfortunately, as it's been recently... This person cannot meet up with me until about 6, which means it'll be dark and you guys are not going to be able to see anything. So probably going to make have to make this a three-day vlog, believe it or not. But I'll try to keep it a little on the short side for those of you with uh, short attention spans like myself. Um, as far as I know, it's going to be about 27 uh, towers, mostly HPs. A um, few really small... Whoa! Pretty minuscule... Whoa, had a little bit of a glitch there, folks. That's um, Jesse uh, McJugger Nuggets. I'm listening, just listening to what happened with Storyfire. Man, that's a mess there. If you guys ever get a chance, check out his channel. Um, but it should be about 27 desktops. And um, hopefully you're going to get some more monitors, keyboards, mice, and a few other odds and ends. As a matter of fact, I'm looking out for... Um, uh, peripherals and some laptops and maybe even some tablets for my good friend Frank. If you ever see this, Frank, remember, buddy, I'm always looking out for you. Um, but other than that, uh, if those of you wondered where I've been recently, why I haven't been uploading or doing anything, there just really hasn't been anything to make videos about. Honestly, I haven't really been doing anything this past uh, month or two. Um, I will show you guys more of the van. 
I will tell you um, with that van, um, the reason I'm not showing it all right now, once again, is because I'm waiting to get some paint work done. Next week, next Wednesday, I'm bringing it to my buddy Brian. Shout out to you, Brian, if you're watching this. He's going to go ahead and paint the roof and the back where the paint's starting to flake off a little bit. And I'm going to take some before and after pictures, um, but I'm probably not going to upload them during this vlog. I want you guys to see it when it's absolutely perfect. But that's the vehicle that, Lord willing, when all this craziness is done with, um, Mom and I are actually going to be able to do some more traveling, maybe go back up to my uncle's house, uh, film some more videos like the one I did years ago about visiting Rod Serling's uh, house from the Twilight Zone. I'm going to end it here before I start rambling on too much. We'll see what the rest of the day brings. You probably won't see this until the following day. So I'll talk to everybody on the flip side. All right, everybody. I don't know how well you can see me or not, but we just picked up the computers. It's at night. Mom is here. She's going to say hi, but there's no way you're going to be able to see her. Um, wasn't quite as good as I would have hoped. Um, I think I wound up getting about uh, 18. They're all Core i3s except for one. But I'm going to have to show it to you guys tomorrow. So you guys aren't going to be able to see too much right now. We're driving and it's very, very dim. So let me go ahead and pause the vlog. See what the rest of it brings. I'll talk to everybody on the flip side. All right, everybody. So it's the next day. It's wound up being like a three or a four day vlog. I'm heading out right now to the Tahoe. I wound up getting the computers last night, as I said, but there weren't quite as many as I would have liked. I want to say it's like about 18 of them, and all except for one, they're all Core i3s. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool out right now but not too bad uh the weather warmed up i'd say it's in the 40s right now just barely warm enough for me to go without a coat so i'm going to turn you guys around here open the tailgate and show you the booty i know that was a bad pun i'm sorry talk to you guys in a minute all right so opening up the tahoe to reveal the computers uh, the majority of these are pretty much all the same. They're these uh, HPs. Uh, they're Core i3s. I'm not even sure what the model number is. I'm going to try to hide that Windows key. Uh, Compact Pro 6300. So more likely than not, these are third gen um, Core i3s. Let me see if I can actually open one up here for you. I don't know. I actually have not opened these up yet at all. And I'll have to count them once I get in there. Um, you can see right there, looks like, oh wow, these actually have USB 3. I am shocked. Yeah, they're probably third or fourth gen. So you got your various uh, array of ports, got Display Port, VGA, your legacy ports, um, mainly because these are business class systems. And I will tell you guys something, they are really, really dusty. So let's open this up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, I know they don't have hard drives, but I do know that they have memory. And I'm going to pull a stick out here in a minute and uh, see what they actually have. There's your SATA cable for your uh, hard drives. It does have the standoffs. These can be very hard to find, so I'm glad to see they kept the standoffs in there. Let's go ahead. I'm going to ground myself here. Put Pull out a stick of uh, memory real quick just to see what it is. Looks like it's got 2 gig PC3 1200Us. So each one probably has 4 gigs of RAM. That's actually good because I'll be putting um, 8 gigs in here and I have a lot of 2 gig uh, DDR3 um, sticks. But I got a lot of work ahead of me, folks. I'll give you guys a tally of everything once I have them inside. Um, I did get some keyboards and mice. If you look back there, there's a couple of those real slim uh, towers. I only got two of those because they require a very uh, special power supply. So I didn't want to get a bunch of them because believe it or not, the power supply that you have to get for those is 150 watts and it costs about as much as that computer itself is worth. So uh, let me get to work, bring these inside, and I'll talk to everybody on the flip side. All right, everybody. So I counted 18 in total. And um, you can see the other model that I got here were a couple of these 
little tiny ones. Um, these are the ones that the power supplies are really expensive for. Must have been from some type of uh, school or something because it says NB exam. Um, but if you look on the side here, it uses a 19.5 volt 150 watt power supply, which I do have one of those upstairs, I believe. So we'll have to see what happens. I'm going to end this uh, multi-day vlog here, but this is the haul minus a few computers I've already brought in, but you guys got to see the bulk of them. And it looks like they all have uh, DVD burners too. So hopefully I'll be able to do a few more videos in the near future, maybe one including this. But I can't make any promises because things around the house are really crazy right now. You guys will get to see this later tonight. Thanks for watching. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.